Hello, I'm Dr. Richard Stoughton and a dermatologist and I'm going to talk about atopic eczema. The characteristic thing about patients with this disease is that they itch and hence scratch and this picture of a child scratching is familiar to doctors looking after patients with atopic eczema. Incessant scratching is what occurs. This is a section through normal skin and what dermatologists have found is that if this is scratched, it thickens. Such thickened skin of itself itches and hence more scratching. So the patients get caught in a vicious cycle. The clinical appearance of thickened skin is called by doctors lichenification because it looks like the bark of a tree. This is the front of a patient's ankle that has been scratched for many weeks and months and the deep furrows of the skin are quite easily seen, likewise the scratch marks. Perhaps more commonly seen is the thickening of the front of the eyelid. Um, this is a feature of atopic eczema. If the skin beneath the nose is scratched where the skin is tethered, similar thickening and deep furrowing occurs. Here, the corners of the mouth where the skin is tethered have been rubbed and deep furrows can be seen and these crack and are very tender. Where the skin is tethered under the ear, fissures can occur and be very uncomfortable. The hand that does the scratching thickens up as well. The one on the left is the patient, the one on the right, the photographer. The, pa the hand on the left is shown to have deep creases, so-called hyperlinear palm, and the hand has thickened, the skin of the hand has thickened where it has been rubbed against the thigh or the knee. In a child, scratching is less directional, and here the child has rolled around in its cot, rubbing its itchy skin, but the skin beneath the shoe has not been thickened where it has not been scratched. What can we do about this? Well, a doctor in Sweden, Dr. Peter Norum, came across the idea of helping to teach people to modify their scratching activity. If you want to learn more about this, I suggest you visit www.atopicskindisease.com Thank you.